Welcome to our channel Data Speaks. We will provide information regarding various events occurred on specific dates to our videos. In this video, date 22nd October speaks about scientific inventions occurred. First, we will talk about xerography. In 1938, xerography was demonstrated by Chester F. Carlson with his assistant Otto Kornoy. Carlson used a sulfur coating on a zinc plate, vigorously rubbed with a handkerchief to apply an electrostatic charge. A glass slide was prepared using India ink to write 10-22-38 Astoria, then laid on the sulfur surface in a darkened room. After illuminating them with a bright incandescent lamp for a few seconds, the slide was removed. When lycopodium powder was sprinkled on the sulfur surface and blown off, there remained a near perfect image of the writing. Permanent copies were made by transferring the powder images to wax paper and heating the seeds to melt the wax. Xerox is a term coming from xerography, which means dry writing and is a trademark. Now we will talk about Edison patent. In 1872, Thomas Alva Edison was issued patents for an improvement in paper for chemical telegraphs and for an improved apparatus for perforating paper for telegraph use. The chemical paper Edison had previously designed used a solution of potassium iodide and starch I adhered to paper and used while moist. He noted that when dry, the starch tended to crack and peel from paper. He patented an improvement using a very thin paste of flour and water that with the solution of potassium iodide would penetrate the paper fabric. In the second patent, Edison described a compact machine to punch perforated tap used to transmit telegraphic messages. Keys could punch either a single hole for a dot or three holes for a dash. Now we will talk about another Edison patent. In 1878, Thomas Alva Edison was issued a patent for quadruplex telegraph repeaters. This invention is an improved method for one quadruplex circuit to repeat into another quadruplex circuit. The patent describes the electromagnets, local circuits, switches and connections. The circuits work into and operate each other so that the messages are repeated automatically into one circuit by the receiving instrument of the other circuit instead of the finger key being operated by hand. Now we will talk about one more Edison patent. In 1912, Thomas Alva Edison was issued patents for a conveyor related to a cement kiln and for a phonograph stylus formed of crystallized boron which because of its hardness, in fact much harder than sapphire, could operate on sound records formed from hard materials without wearing away. Small crystals of boron could be formed in an electric furnace and were easier to polish than diamond while not being as fragile. If you like our content, please like and share our videos and also subscribe our channel Date Speaks.